My name is Gemma Hunter, I'm the Handicap and Course Rating Manager for England Golf. This is optional and is a tool to allow you to encourage new members into golf and to give them an achievable starting point from which they can improve into a Kongu handicap. This also allows you to help the declining golfer that you may wish to retain within your membership by giving them the extra strokes and allowing them to compete amongst their peers. If your club is not currently using the Kongu Club handicaps, we would strongly recommend that you consider it. The allocation beyond 29.0 and 37.0, up to 54 for both men and ladies, will not carry the competition status. We suggest that you revise your competition conditions within your club to allow them to enter qualifying competitions. The C status will not appear on any Kongu Club handicap. A player can only hold one handicap at any time. If a player reaches the upper limits of 28.0 or 36.0, you would need to ask the player's permission to change them from a Kongu handicap to a Kongu Club handicap. The Kongu Club handicap system is managed almost identically to the previous junior system with one change. The player will now get a 0.1 increase if they are outside of their buffer zone and this will be managed by the software. Scores are always returned against the SSS, not CSS in this category. As with any handicap, it is up to you, the committee, to decide if the player is correctly handicapped or not. You can apply the same set of adjustments you can for somebody with a Kongu handicap using Clause 23.